Hey guys, it's Cecile. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Cecile and I'm an incoming freshman at Brown University. And today's video is basically going to be all about Bullseye Admissions. And basically I'm going to be giving a review on their website and the services they offer and basically talking about everything I love about Bullseye. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, but let's get started. So the way I'm organizing this entire review video is basically in five different sections. So first I wanna focus on their essay review and all the resources they offered with that. And then the actual video prep feature and what you can do during your video calls with your advisor. And then I wanna talk about financial aid and all the opportunities they have for first generation and low income students. And then I'm gonna move into the free webinars that are available on their Instagram and blogs that are from a variety of schools with a variety of different opportunities available as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna move into what differentiates Bullseye from other college advising companies. So today I had the pleasure of speaking with Caitlin Liston, who's an advisor at Bullseye, and she just graduated from the University of California, Berkeley in I think 2018, and she has a degree in economics. Caitlin and I did both an essay review in which I gave her one of my essays I actually submitted to Brown when I applied, and a video chat for about an hour, I'd say. The essay that I chose to give to Caitlin was the Brown prompt that says, tell us about a place or community that you call home and how has it shaped your perspective? And for that prompt, you have 250 words. And when I was actually writing this essay and when I submitted it all, I thought it sounded good. Like personally, I thought that I basically connected to the prompt and everything. But looking back on it now, Caitlin actually showed me that it was good but also it could have been improved in a lot of different ways. As you can see from all these comments, Caitlin definitely did a great job of basically going through my entire essay like really thoroughly and deciding what fit in and what I could have added. And there are a lot of comments that I have to scroll through. But she basically caught everything in my essay that I thought was previously fine. You can see all these highlights over here. And I think that was a really great eye opener because a lot of the times I write an essay or someone else will write an essay and they'll think it sounds good to them, it makes sense. But then when other people read it, it's like they can add additional insight that will make that seem much better. Something that Caitlin really emphasized when she was going over my essay was the whole show not tell idea. And I think that's something I personally struggled with with this essay particularly. And I'm glad that she brought that to my attention because there were some sentences that I definitely liked it a lot more of a telling kind of notation where I could have transitioned those into a showing notation that would provide much more imagery and basically a lot more detail to the reader. Although I can't go back and re-edit this essay and make it a bit better, I would have loved to and this definitely would have been a really great resource for me while writing my essays. So after Caitlin took the time to edit my essay, we spent the first 30 minutes of our Zoom call basically going over her comments and what she would have liked me to actually do and what improvements I could have made and things that I did well in the essay. So instead of just like commenting things and then hoping that I understand what she means, she made sure to explain each and every comment and why she made it. But although the video chats can be very useful in talking to your advisor about your essay and the edits they made and why they made it, you can also use video chats for a variety of different things. So something that Caitlin actually talked about that she does a lot with students is interview prep. So Caitlin was actually the one who wrote this article that you might have seen on the Bullseye Instagram. And basically here in this blog post, she talks about the 10 most common college interview questions, ranging from the simple, tell me about yourself, to different questions like how will you make a difference on campus. And so here, if you read this post on blog.joinbullseye.com, you can see these 10 different questions so you can really prepare for them. But beyond just preparing for these questions and knowing what they're gonna ask you, what you can do in a video chat with your advisor is actually go through the questions, having them like basically ask you the questions and then having you naturally reply. And they can tell you if you were a bit too wordy or if you should place more emphasis on certain things that you didn't really emphasize in that like question and answer. So basically the video chats can help you see what it's like to actually be in an interview, but in this case, you'll be with someone that you feel familiar with and comfortable with so that when it's actually the time for the interview, you'll feel comfortable and ready to answer those questions if they do ask those exact same questions, which in my experience, as I was looking through the blog post, a lot of those questions seem super similar to me. In all of the interviews I've had, I've probably been asked at least half of those in every single interview. I mean, there's a couple like loop balls here and there that they'll throw at you just to see how you'll react. But otherwise, those questions are the basis of pretty much every interview. So I think the essay review and then the video chat that Caitlin had with me were both super helpful. But beyond just talking about those and how great they were, because they truly were, I want to talk about what you can do if you want access to these resources, like getting essay edits, getting one on one video chats with an advisor that you can actually talk to and ask questions with but you can't actually afford those. 
So now I want to move into the part of this video where I want to talk about Bullseye's financial aid program and their Bullseye Scholars program. Something I really admire about Bullseye is that they really care about their students. They acknowledge the fact that not everyone can afford to pay for college application help, like getting your essays reviewed and getting video chats with advisors and everything. And it's aimed at lower income and first generation students. And you can apply until August 1st at this link on their Instagram. And basically, if you are chosen as one of the 50 Bullseye Scholars, since they fund 50 every single year, you will get help with the college application process the entire way through. You'll get your essays reviewed, you'll get video chats and everything. They basically help students get into their top schools, get the best financial aid possible at those schools, and all these other great scholarships and everything outside of that through this program. And I think it's a great program for students who really can't afford that extra help, but who would really benefit from that help. It's really important in my opinion because I'm really passionate about educational inequity. I think it's a really important issue that's often misunderstood. And I think Bullseye is really doing their part in helping to close that educational gap, particularly the gap that is really prevalent in the college application process because a lot of people have access to uh, tutors or to special organizations that will help them with the process and they can afford to get that help but several low-income students cannot and that really widens the resources they have and I really admire that Bullseye is really taking the initiative to help those students afford the help that they deserve. So beyond offering programs like Bullseye Scholars that are aimed for FDLI students, Bullseye also has programs where you can purchase different packages based on what you need. So if you just need like one essay looked at or you just want to have one video chat you can do that you don't have to purchase the entire program where you like have an advisor for the entire college process and basically have all your essays looked at have unlimited video chats and stuff like that you can basically purchase what you need you don't have to pay for the entire package you really can just pay for what you need to pay for and we also are always open to any type of help a student may need to pay financially when we were doing a bunch of free intro calls the entire spring we actually had a note on the form that we would submit for them that said whether or not they might need some help paying financially. So that's something that is taken into account from the first call, something we're willing to work with the students and the families on because our main goal really is to make college counseling and advising accessible. So it would be really silly if we were not open to helping students who might not have the financial means to pay for it. Another thing I really love about Bullseye, which I think differentiates them from like other college admissions like Instagrams and organizations, is how helpful their Instagram really is. They have all these uh, school comparison posts that really help like students compare these schools that might be super close. Here we have UPenn and Princeton, and they have like so many different guides. They have essay guides. So like for example, here I have an essay guide for the University of Notre Dame and they have basically their prompts and a breakdown and everything and they have these basically all over their Instagram and you can see the whole guide on their website and it's free for the public. And they also have all these free webinars that are also great for the public. They basically had one for every single school so far this summer. But like you can ask current students at a school like some questions and everything and they have these webinars weekly. So even if you don't end up signing up with Bullseye for an essay review or a video chat or whatever it is, you still have access to all their free resources on their blog and their Instagram. And these include things like webinars, which I talked earlier about, and you can basically connect with people that are actually at that school, ask them questions, because honestly, I think that talking to people that were actually there that have been through it is way more helpful than like reading stuff online or asking people who have been through college, but not that specific college. And also you can have access to their essay guides, which are super helpful as well, especially as you guys start drafting your supplementals and everything for specific schools. And even those simple school comparisons that they have on their Instagram can help you a lot when you're deciding like what colleges to apply to, what's the advantage of like going to this college rather than this college, or even when it comes down to decision day, when you have to compare two schools that you got into and you have to decide which is the right fit for you, you can refer back to their Instagram for all these free resources that are available to the public. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about with Bullseye? Because I don't really think I have any more questions. Yeah, that's all good. Um, I think that one of the best things about Bullseye and one of the reasons that I decided to be an advisor is because all of us either are in college at a really elite college or are recently graduated. So we've been through the process recently. We know what it's like to go to these schools. A lot of times college counseling or college advisors are a lot older, which is great. They bring wisdom. They've yeah. been through the process. It's really nice though, and I think a lot of the students I've worked with really appreciate someone who's done it recently and knows how stressful the process can be and also how amazing it can be. 
And I think that's one of the things that really sets us apart is that person to person connection and the fact that we've all been in school within the last 10 years and really know what these campuses are like and what the schools are looking for. I think what Caitlin just said is really important, but something else I really wanted to add is that I think what differentiates Bullseye from like other college admissions companies is also the fact that they have so many different advisors in so many different fields. So if you want someone that specifically majored in bio or someone who went to med school, someone who went to law school, you can find that. You won't just be matched with some random advisor that might not have been on the same path as you and might not be able to offer you advice with your specific major and the specific path that you're taking. And that's something that really differentiates Bullseye in my opinion. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video, but if you have any questions about matching with a bullseye advisor or even just bullseye in general, feel free to contact me through Instagram or comment questions down below. And if you wanna learn more about Caitlin and the path that she took or even match with her and an advisor, you can also contact me for that. But overall, I think I covered everything. I truly think bullseye is an incredible website and I think that all the advisors there really know what they're doing and they're there to help you guys grow. And they actually care about their students, which you don't see a lot of the times in some other essay review companies. From my experience, I'm saying that because I've seen that with fellow classmates that have gone through people that might not have cared about much more and the individual themselves. So that's all I have to say for today. But as usual, make sure to like this video, subscribe, comment any future video recommendations. I have a lot of content that I'm going to be putting out for you guys. So stay tuned and stay subscribed. Have a good one.